Friday night, April 18, scheduled your way here in Albany at the Washington Avenue Armory. One week from this coming Friday night, an extraordinary card of professional wrestling. And scheduled, ladies and gentlemen, to be on hand, just about anybody who's anything in the world of pro wrestling, including four of the outstanding midget wrestlers of the world as they compete in a tag team match. And of course, this in addition to the presence of the Wolfman, perhaps the most unusual wrestler around today, is the Wolfman locks horns with one Victor Rivera. And then, ladies and gentlemen, a match that, well, all the wrestling world indeed is talking about, a match involving Spiro Zerion, the protege of Fred Blassie, as Spiro Zerion meets the pride of Paul Huska, Chief J. Strongbow. Right now, let's bring on Fred Blassie and the Wolfman and talk about the match that the Wolfman will have against Victor Rivera. McMahon, this is a night, a night of victories for the team of the Blassie stable. Here you're looking at the Wolfman, undefeated in a single match against the greatest array of talent in the world today. He's going up a little old pipsqueak here, Victor Rivera, the pride and joy of Puerto Ricans. Now, I feel sorry for those people. I really do. Deep down inside of me, I've got a lot of feeling for these little old people, you know. No, just when they have to look up at a guy like Victor Rivera as their local hero, doesn't leave much to choose for, does it? Victor is an extraordinary oh, athlete. Listen, that's your opinion. What do you know about wrestling? You don't know a hip lock from an arm lock or an arm drag from a headlock or a step over toe hole or in between go behind body scissor to head scissor nothing. Well, I guarantee you, Wolfman doesn't know that neither. Because he doesn't abide by any wrestling rules. He's in to fracture all the rules. And else, plus the fact the Wolfman told me himself. He said, ooh, 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 ooh. And I understood what he said. That's the sign of victory. That means that he's going out and get another scalp for Freddie Blassie. And he knows that's more money in my pocket. And that's what he wants to do. The Wolfman wants to put a lot of money in my pocket. Wolfman, Wolfman, I love him. There's a beautiful specimen of manhood right there. What a beautiful man right there. Look at him. I mean, a man there, he knows no fear, nothing. But Victor Verver will know fear. That's the night. That's the night all the eyes of the wrestling world will be focused on Albany. Albany will become the capital of the wrestling center that night. Because I said before, the Wolfman will win, and so will Spears Arion win. <laughs> Wolfman, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you have it. Fred Blassie, the Wolfman, unbelievable. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on Chief Jay Strongbow and discuss the match that Jay Strongbow finally has here against Spiro Sarion. And Jay in Albany, it's going to happen. The capital of uh, New York, it couldn't happen in a better place. That is to say, if uh, the rafters are going to hold up uh, when you two fellas meet, because I know there's a bad, lot of bad blood, a lot of, a lot of deep sentiment, a lot of feelings uh, involved in this match. And it's uh, maybe, I don't know if you're looking forward to it, and, Maybe you have some reservation because of, uh, of what Arion has done. I just don't know. How do you feel at this moment? Yeah, one time I thought Arion was close to me as, uh, as if he was my brother. How would you feel? A man doing to you what Arion uh, done to me. I know one thing. I know Arion's capabilities. He's a great wrestler. But he's going to play hell in there. I think he knows what I can do. He running with nice company. It's immaterial to me right now. The only things on my mind is Arion. When you're sleeping at night and you have dreams about Arion, the burning is hard to put the fire out. The only place to put it out inside the ring. It's no use me standing here telling you what I'm going to do or telling the good people out there what I'm going to do. Is this got to be done. Thank you. You heard from Jay Strongbow, it has to be done. And it will be done in Albany. All right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on the former tag team partner of Chief Jay Strongbow, Spiro Serion. If Jay Strongbow was somebody, it was cause of me. If Jay Strongbow had a small name, it was cause of me. Look at him now, when I switched against him. Look at him, what's happened to him. He's nobody. And after I finish with him, is going to be against, not nobody. And one more thing, Indian boy. Don't ever insult me in front of the camera. Because I never insulted you. Don't ever call me a brother. I could never be a brother to a yellow belly, red skin like you. I'm a thoroughbred iron Greek. I'm, I'm going to stay a thoroughbred iron Greek. Don't forget that, brother. Put your face where it belongs and let my name where it belongs and never call brother again. And one more thing for you, Indian boy, will be no contest. And you know that well. And people know that well. The way I'm going to walk in the ring, same way I'm going to walk out. But the only difference, 
the Indian boy is going to walk in straight.